cell phone is one of the world's greatest distractions. With just a few touches, you can access your email, text messages, social media, and the list goes on. You know that using your cell phone behind the wheel is incredibly dangerous. And the state of New York recognizes this as well. Types of cell phone tickets. New York state law defines two distinct types of cell phone tickets. A section 1225C ticket penalizes a person who uses a cell phone to engage in a phone call while driving. The classic example of this violation is when somebody holds a cell phone to their ear and talks on the phone while driving. The other type of ticket is a section 1225D ticket. It is known as an electronic device ticket because it can be issued when someone uses a portable electronic device while driving. This includes engaging in a range of activities, from texting or using an app to fiddling with a portable GPS. Cell phone ticket penalties. New York's commitment to preventing these unsafe practices is reflected in the significant consequences they carry. If a person is convicted of a cell phone violation, they face steep penalties in New York, including fines, surcharges, a possible driver responsibility assessment fee from the DMV, five points on their license, and a substantial increase in their auto insurance premium. How to fight a cell phone ticket. Avoiding these penalties will require the expertise of a skilled attorney. Your first option is to take your case to trial. This option is high reward, but also high risk. If you win, you will be found not guilty and avoid the penalties altogether. But winning at trial is tricky. Remember that you're going up against an experienced police officer. Sometimes there will be clear evidence to prove the driver was not guilty. For example, in the case of People v. Ferguson, Mr. Ferguson was ticketed for talking on his cell phone while driving when an officer observed him holding the phone to his left ear. At trial, Ferguson's attorney produced evidence of his client's phone records, which showed that he was not engaged in a phone call when the officer had allegedly observed him doing so. As a result, Ferguson was found not guilty. Other times, the facts are less clear. In these cases, the judge will usually side with the police officer. And if you do end up losing in court, the likely result is that you will have to accept the full range of available penalties. So going to trial is not right for every case, although in certain jurisdictions it might be necessary. Whether this strategy is right for you should be determined by an attorney after a review of the fact of your case. If you or a loved one has been cited with a cell phone or an electronic device ticket, contact Rosenblum Law for a free no-obligation consultation. Fighting a cell phone ticket in New York is serious business. By hiring a qualified attorney, you give yourself the best shot at avoiding the harsh penalties that come along with a cell phone or electronic device ticket. 